So I have all of the cash that I'm going to be working with for today for my bonus check. So I have 20... Thursday everyone and welcome to Cash Me in Paradise. My name is Jocelyn and I'm a cash envelope stuffer and budgeter here in Hawaii. For those of you that are new to the channel, aloha and welcome. And for all of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. Hey everyone, I hope you're all having an amazing week. Thank you so much for tuning in as I go through my bonus or commission check for the month of August. Super excited to receive this additional check. I wasn't expecting it. I also will be going over my cash envelopes um, to see how we did for the week so far, where our money went and how much money we have left going forward. So stick around and let's begin. All right, so I have my journal here that I got a few weeks back. I do want to start something new here on the channel. I do want to start tracking all of my expenses for my cash envelopes every week, just to kind of keep track of where my money is going and to also be as transparent as I can with you all. So let me just open up my journal real quick so we can go ahead and take a look to see where I've spent money so far. I have gas up here is $50, groceries is $82, pay it for $20, my cat pumpkins food was $40, uh, coffee and tea, I did purchase a few bags so that I can go ahead and make coffee at home. And then I bought a few things um, online on Amazon. So super excited to start tracking all of my expenses going forward. I think it is going to be super helpful for myself just to kind of see, you know, exactly how I um, spent money that week. And if there's anything or any patterns, maybe I can go ahead and, you know, cut back or even make adjustments to the amount of money that I stuff for my cash envelope. So yeah, I'm super excited for that. If you also track your expenses, you know, what's helped you to be the most successful? Do you do it like every day, like as soon as you purchased or do you kind of just write it out once um, you're filming or before you're filming? I would love to hear all of your um, suggestions down below. All right, you guys, I have my breakdown here of all of the money that I um, usually get for each cash envelope. So groceries, I do budget for $200 a paycheck. Gas is 80, my cat is 80 as well. $40 for spending. I did um, increase this amount for pay it forward to $20. And then drinks and eating out usually get 70. So let me just count all of my cash envelopes with you real quick. All right, so I spent $82 for groceries, so I should have a total of 118 left. 50, 70, 90, 100, 110, 15, 16, 17, and 118. You guys, I am super amazed at how much groceries cost here um you know i did purchase some things today um like the usual things like bread eggs milk fruits vegetables and yeah you know i'm trying to find ways that i can cut this even more i try as much as possible to bring home lunch to work and then I always eat breakfast on the weekdays at home as well. So if you have any other suggestions besides, you know, making food at home, also like couponing, I'd love to hear them or how you're able to save money on your groceries. I'd love to hear your suggestions down below as well. I should also have leftover money too. So it should have $30, which it does. So 20 and 30. So this has also been a trend that I've noticed that it's been having rollover money. So I think maybe in the next 
video or my next paycheck, I'm gonna probably just cut it down to just 50 and then use the extra $30 towards like a my extra debt payment. All right, so next up is my cat, Pumpkin. She gets $80 every paycheck. She also has leftover money so far. So we uh, spent 40, she should have 40 left over, which she does, 20, 30, and 40. You guys, my cat is like super picky. She likes the dry food, but she licks the wet food, but she won't eat the, the meat inside of it. So she'll just lick all of the gravy and then she'll just waste the rest. Yeah. So thankfully I have my other cat who isn't a picky eater. So we'll usually feed pumpkin first and then the other cat will basically get her leftovers. This is spending, spending usually gets 40. I already spent 20 so it has $20 left. I did purchase some things on Amazon so I am gonna try to see if I cannot spend anything for the remaining of the week and try to have money going forward so I can roll right, Next is pay it forward. I did increase this amount for my last paycheck so I did increase it to $20 which I'm super happy that I've already spent all of this money. I did uh, buy a few coffees online. Um, shout out again to Chris from Budgeting Just Because. She started a website. If you want to contribute to that, I will link the information down below. But basically, if you want to, you can donate um, as much as you want. For example, if you bought a coffee online, it'll be like $5. And then you can um, either leave a comment of who you want that $5 to go to, or they'll just randomly um, select somebody for that to go to. Last is drinks and eating out, my favorite category. This usually gets $70 and I spent 20, so it does have $50 left over going forward. You guys, I've been enjoying making coffee at home. Not only does it taste good, but I'm saving so much money. I wish I would have started this a long time ago. I could have been saving all of that money towards, you know, my extra down payment for my house. So super excited that I've been able to cut costs here. So my next big challenge is to cut my grocery bill in half. Maybe I will, instead of giving myself 200, maybe I will see if I can split that and just budget for 100 and then try my best to find um, foods or meals that, you know, doesn't cost as much. I'm gonna just put all of these back into my wallet and then we'll go ahead and move along into my sinking funds. So I have all of the cash that I'm gonna be working with for today for my bonus check. So I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 150, 200, 300, and 400 dollars. You guys, that's amazing. So for the month of August, my biggest goal for myself was to fully fund my emergency fund again. If you have been with me for the start of my journey, I did have to take my cat to the vet, which she needed to get some um, medication and she, they did an exam on her. So it did fully deplete my emergency fund. So that's the reason why I did want to go ahead and reserve money again for that. So for today's cash stuffing, I'm only gonna be stuffing two categories, which is my emergency fund, as well as car maintenance. I have a digital online, which I do save money for my registration, but I think it's super beneficial to have a separate category for car maintenance, just because you never know when your car might need a repair, you know, and it's super expensive. So I just want to be ready for that. So first category is going to be my car tags or car maintenance. I'll be putting a hundred dollars. So 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. I've been seeing a few of you having to, you know, reach into the car maintenance envelope and you know i'm super happy that you have money set aside for that um so i just want to be prepared category is going to be emergency fund I'll just go ahead and grab the cash out of here you guys what are some of the goals that you're trying to achieve for this month 
20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 50, 300, 50, 400, 50, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, woohoo! A thousand, oh my gosh, you guys, super happy. <laughs> my next big goal is to start saving money for my three to six month expenses. I definitely want to save as much money as I can. And I also just wanted to take some time to just see, you know, everybody's journey is different. Um, don't get discouraged, you know, if some people are, you know, making their goals or reaching their goals faster. Um, you know, every progress that you've made, whether it be a dollar, ten dollars, a hundred dollars, is still progress. So just wanted to say, you guys, you know, don't beat yourself up as far as, you know, getting down or discouraged, you know, just keep going at it. You know, I'm here cheering everybody on, you know, this is not a race. Everybody's journey is different, which is the beauty of this community. And yeah, everybody on here, you know, is super supportive. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're not already a subscriber, I do hope you'll consider subscribing down below. And before I go, I did want to also give three shout outs to three lovely ladies that are also from Hawaii. And their YouTube channel is 808 Cupcakes, Cree's Budget Journey, and Budget with Kanani. So if you're not already following their channel, I do hope you'll also check their channel out and subscribe. And I will catch you all in my next video. Aloha, take care.